Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Carter here, and today I bring you another top 5 medieval engineers creations, and this one's going to be all about siege equipment. Coming in at number 5, Walking Catapult. The Walking Catapult in general is a really good idea, but it didn't turn out in my opinion just because it's so difficult to use and I never actually got it to work. But the catapult itself worked a little bit, I mean, I guess that's a plus, but uh, other than that, yeah, I think it was kind of a bust. Uh, it needs work, but it does look damn good, and uh, I give it, that's why, I, I give it like a one star, that's why it comes in at five. Coming in at number 4, the Working Ballista. The Working Ballista is a very, very complex system. Well, it's, I guess it's not that complex, but it's pretty complex for an early access game like this. And uh, in this video, you can see I kind of messed it up by releasing the wrong rope, but it does work. And I think it's pretty sweet that they finally thought of that. I mean, really good concept. That's why it comes in at number 4. This was the working ballista. Coming in at number three, Hards Trundler. Hard's Trundler is a super great concept, but it, it I, it's difficult to use. I never actually got it to roll like I wanted it to, and uh, it's just kind of finicky, And but it's it's super well built. This, that's why it comes in at number three, and um, I just love the concept of it, and I think it looks amazing. And once I figure out how to get it to work, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to move up on the list, but as of right now, coming in at number three, Hard's Trundler, the thing's a beast. And if you can get it to work, then it's it's gonna look beastly. <laughs> and that's why it's coming at number three. Coming in at number two, the Pentapult. The Pentapult is an absolutely insane catapult. It's got crazy power. It's got insane recoil, <laughs> as you'll see later in the video. Um, it's pretty well built. I mean, it's a pretty good idea. Uh, I would have never thought of it. And that's why it comes in at number two. It has a quick reload time, as you can see. And it's super quick. Right about now I'm going to release it and it just has super strong kickback right here. Whoa! And that is why it comes in at number two because it is a boss. And coming in at number one, the giant trebuchet. This thing is by far my favorite, just because it's so damn massive. It it launches a crazy distance. It works great. I had zero flaws with it, except for the reload time. It is a little bit slow, but what do you expect from th something that's like I can't remember how tall it was. It it's massive. Trust me. As you can see, you got a couple smaller trebuchets in the background. And it's got takes four cables to uh, hold the thing down. Otherwise, if you don't have all four, then they kind of start releasing a little bit. And um, 
yeah, the weight on it is just huge. A lot of work went into this, and I will say it turned out excellent. Um, when you would use this in a real battle, I don't know, but it would be awesome to see. And I hope someday it's possible to implement this into like a siege attack because it would be insane. Um, yeah, so that's why this comes in at number one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this was top five medieval engineer creations. If you guys enjoyed, leave a comment down below and like, and leave a suggestion for um, any more diff videos you want me to do or any more games you want me to play. I'm willing to do anything for you guys. So, as always, this was Carter. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of the video.